Hey guys, how's it going? Dogger here uh, with another Duel Links video. And this time we are looking at what to pick up with your uh, Rank Duel reward tickets. Assuming you are able to secure at least 100 wins in Ranked Bone last season, you will now have uh, 6 tickets right now at your disposal. Uh, 2 normal ones, 2 rare ones, and 2 super rare ones. Uh, many has been asking me uh, what to pick up with their tickets, so uh, so I thought it would be a great idea to make a YouTube video out of this one. Uh, now let's just go ahead and check out uh, what are the good cards available out there. So uh, for no more cards, we have uh, five new cards and three cards from the legendary duel list. This one is from Weevil, and these two are from Joy. Obviously, we're not gonna pick up these three. So, uh, for the first new card, we have Ancient Leaf. Uh, this card is uh, actually pretty bad. Uh, even in the real life TCG, where we start with 8,000 life points, this card is still almost seen no play. They are long in Duel Links, so uh, I wouldn't recommend picking up this one. Uh, next one we have Eagle Eye. When this card is normal summoned successfully, no trap cards can be activated. So uh, the effect is okay even though we haven't had many trap cards that uh, directly respond to normal summons in Duel Links right now. Uh, but the thing is, uh, the stat is horrible. So uh, this is a bad card as well. Next we have uh, the Angry Panda. Each time a beast type monster on the field is destroyed, this card gains 500 attack. So again, uh, the effect is whatever, but the stat is uh, horrible. Next we have Return Zombie. During your standby phase, you can pet 500 life points, add this card from your graveyard to your hand. But you must have no cards in your hand to activate and to resolve this effect. So, uh, pretty useless effect pretty pathetic stats so again a horrible card uh, last we have shark Greaser, a level 5 water monster uh, fish type if this face up card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card effect you can special summon up to 2 level 4 lower water monster from your deck so the effect is uh, decent uh, but, uh, but the thing is uh, you can combo this card with the range in the ocean and make it a uh, level 4 monster in your hand so you can summon it without attributing a monster so obviously uh, this one is the best card in the normal section so I would recommend picking up two copies of this one I'm not saying this card is uh, really good or really powerful it is just uh, other cards are are really underwhelming so uh, this is the better card here now uh, move on to uh, rare cards so again a lot of uh, legendary deal list drops not gonna pick up uh, all those cards the first new card failure of the Phoenix uh, this card uh, for now, I don't think this card has any potential in Duel Links. So, uh, in real life TCG, there is to be multiple uh, combo decks, even FTK decks, utilizing uh, this card. But uh, in Duel Links, I really don't know uh, what can we do with this card. Even in farming deck, we have uh, many other good ways to prevent ourselves from taking out or recycle some important cards. So I wouldn't recommend picking up this one. Next we have Astro Barrier, a continuous trap. If your opponent's monster attacks, the monster counter can make that secondary attack instead. Uh, so this is a really bad card to not pick up this one. Next we have Covering Fire, a normal trap. During the damage step, while an opponent's monster is attacking a monster counter, attack if all the face up monster counter, your attack monster against attack equal to the target's attack during a damage step only. So the effect is decent, but uh, it requires you to have multiple monsters on the board. Otherwise, the card is dead. 
So I believe in many cases, uh, mirror wall is just a better color out there. But if you can't afford uh, multiple copies of mirror wall, you might as well pick up this card and put it in your uh, beatdown deck. Like uh, I believe this card is quite decent for macro deck because well, with hammer shock, uh, you can easily generate multiple monsters onto your board uh, in a single turn. So uh, an okay card here. Uh, next we have Oyster Meister, a level three water fish type monster. So uh, this is right now the uh, strongest monster that you can uh, special summon with Hammer Shock. With with Hammer Shock, uh, the effect is uh, pretty decent. You can combo it with uh, the level 40 Mako reward card. Uh, uh, if I remember correctly, it's called uh, Fish Depth Charge. So you can triple this card and activate that chop card and get a token and also you can combo this card with econ and the token is also a fish type so uh, token can also be used as a cost for the chop card and also you can use econ so uh, I would expect this card to be a staple in Mako decks and if we ever get any more copies of uh, fish depth charge this card can be insanely good but for now, it's already good enough to uh, pick up for your Miko deck. So pick up this one if you play Miko. Now the last one we have Rare Metal Dragon. This card cannot be normal summoned or set. So uh, in your links, we haven't had a card called Marauding Captain. It's a uh, card when uh, normal summon, you can special summon a level 4 lower monster from your hand. So in the real life TG, we can combo this card with uh, Marauding Captain, but in Duel Links, I feel uh, this card is really underwhelming right now. Do not pick up this one. Uh, last, we have a uh, super rare card. Unlike the normal cards and rare cards, uh, in this session, I would actually recommend picking up the Ranging Duel List drops because uh, it's really kind of consuming and also you need uh, a bit of luck to get a certain card you want from the uh, legendary duel list like you, if you're still missing one champion's video and so you're still missing one econ you can you might as well just pick up one copy here and then you can say goodbye to kaiba you don't have to waste any time any keys on kaiba or pick up a third copy of uh, grape fever chef and you don't have to waste your time on ishizu anymore but if you happen to have all the uh, popular LD drops here, uh, then you can consider picking up uh, these new cards. So uh, the first card is a giant end. Uh, the name is too long, so I will just call it a giant end. So this card cannot be no summoner set. This card cannot be special summoned except by sending two spell or trap cards counter to a graveyard. You can destroy one spell or trap card your opponent control if you activate this effect, this card cannot attack during this turn. So uh, a second effect is a once per turn effect. If you activate that effect, you cannot attack with this monster that turn. Uh, the requirements to uh, special summon this card is actually pretty costly. You need to stand two spell or trap cards from your side, uh, from your side of field. That's a lot of cards. Uh, the thing is, uh, you can combo this card with uh, Bibbin Shot. So you just uh, equip Bibbin Shot to one of the opponent's monster and use it as one of the codes to special summon this giant ant, and your opponent's monster will get removed from play. So that's a small combo, but um, I wouldn't say that it's busted. It's just an, uh, a thing you can do with this card. And also, uh, it doesn't require you to send your spell trap card from your spell trap zone. So you can also send your field spell as one of the costs. Uh, that means uh, in uh, decks like Handless Balance, where you run uh, gateways to chaos. So you can, after you search your monster with your gateway to chaos, you can send gateway to chaos as one of the costs to special summon this monster. But, uh, Anyway, uh, this card uh, is okay, 
So uh, if you want to test yourself in terms of deck building, then uh, I recommend you picking one copy of this. The next one we have Behemoth, the king of all animals. This card cannot be normal summoner set with one. Uh, can be a normal summoner set with one tribute. And I cast the urgent attack of this card become 2,000. When this card is tribute summoned, you can return from your graveyard to the owner's hand a number of beast type monsters equal to number of tribute monsters. So uh, there's a card in a baboon box called uh, Obedience School, a normal spell. That card can uh, let you special summon three small beasts from your deck, and then you can uh, tribute two of them to normal summon this card and return two beasts to your hand, which is uh, pretty nice. But uh, again, it's just a small combo, not really tarp here, because we don't have a way to search for these monsters, and also uh, bamboo box is. In general, a pretty shitty box. So, only if you happen to have multiple copies of Obedience School, I wouldn't recommend you to uh, pick him, pick up this card. But if you do, maybe you can uh, consider picking up this one and build some decks around it. And next, we have uh, Legacy of Yatagarazu. So this card is uh, essentially a fourth copy of Jar of Greed, so uh, you can put it in your farming deck so you can turbo even more quickly. And uh, if you pick up a glossy one, you can generate an extra 100 uh, score for your uh, farming. So that's basically how we can do with this card. Next, we have Perfect Machine King. This card gains 500 attack for each other machine type monster on the field. So uh, the first thing is uh, we don't really have a way to summon this guy efficiently in Duel Links right now. And even if we do, the stats is horrible. Like the defense is 1500. Like this guy gets Econ and it's super easy to get rid of it. So this is a pretty shitty card, do not pick up this one. Even if you like machines a lot, do not pick up this one. And last we have Pekalo's Circle of Enchantment. Damage to your from card effect becomes zero until the end of this turn. So uh, the effect is situational, but the uh, artwork is uh, really good. Uh, I believe Pekalo is one of the most popular uh, monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! So if you like uh, this little girl, you might as well just pick up this card. Even pick up a glossy one. So uh, that would be a big boost for your card collection, I believe. So uh, that's it for Liesa. Now let's review again. Uh, for normal cards, uh, this one is the only card I recommend picking up. For the rare card, if you play Mako, uh, pick up two copies of Oisin Master. Uh, if you don't, and you can pick up Covering Fire. The rest cards are not that good. For the SR cards, you are, you are still missing some popular LD drops, and then just go ahead and pick up those. Uh, and uh, if you don't, then you can pick up this one for uh, interesting deck building. And pick up this one if you have multiple copies of Obedience School. Pick up this one for your farming deck. And do not pick up this one in any cases. Pick up this one if you are weak. So uh, that's all for the card review. So again, this is Dogray and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more future videos. And that's it for the video and I will see you next time.